The Planned Parenthood is in Washington today defending the use of taxpayer dollars going to the, uh, the organization there. But some lawmakers say they are willing to go to great lengths to strip their funding. We're a firm that the test Planned Parenthood is. President Cecile Richards appeared before Congress Tuesday to defend federal funding for her organization. The federal funding that Planned Parenthood receives allows our doctors and clinicians at our health centers to provide birth control, cancer screenings, and testing and tra treatment for sexually transmitted infections. The nonprofit has been under intense scrutiny since anti-abortion activists shot undercover videos of Planned Parenthood doctors allegedly selling fetal tissue to researchers for profit, a practice that would be illegal. Everyone knows these videos are, as the Speaker of the House said, barbaric and repulsive. The outrageous accusations leveled against Planned Parenthood based on heavily doctored videos are offensive and categorically untrue. The undercover video sparked outrage and many Republican lawmakers say they will vote against current legislation to keep the government funded as long as Planned Parenthood receives federal dollars. Anyone that has watched those videos knows there's a concern and a problem. But Congressman Kevin McCarthy says the current spending bill does not include a measure to strip funding because it wouldn't pass. A CBS News poll released last week shows a majority of those polled, 55 percent, believe Planned Parenthood should receive federal funding. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Capitol Hill. The Congressional Budget Office estimates Planned Parenthood receives approximately $450 million in federal funds every year.